If you're going to be riding more than a few miles, it's a good idea to be prepared. A lot can happen out on the trails, including mechanical problems, injuries, and even dehydration. The last thing you want to worry about is a trailside bathroom emergency. And that's just one of the many reasons why you should take your PRD, or pre-ride dump. Yeah, I know, it's a tasteless topic, but it's important. To be fair, I'm not the first one to bring it up either. Roadies have been openly talking about this stuff for as long as competitive cycling has existed. They're like mad scientists when it comes to data and weight reduction. Most mountain bikers are just happy to be on the trails, but there are some things we can learn from the roadies. First of all, a PRD saves weight. Some people spend thousands on wheels or put less sealant in their tires just to save a few grams. Even a PRP can weigh more than sealant, so why not take advantage of some free weight reduction? It's hard to argue with that, but if you're still not convinced, there are loads of other benefits. Take for instance the space it frees up in your abdomen. Being hunched over your handlebars for hours can take its toll, especially if you're downing water and cliff bars. Any space you can free up will make you more comfortable for the long haul, and even leave room for tacos after your ride. Getting back to my first point though, perhaps the most important benefit of a PRD is eliminating the possibility of a DRD, or during ride dump. Anyone who's had the misfortune of a DRD knows you're not the same for the rest of the ride. There's not a whole lot that mountain bikers are scared of, but the risk of a possible DRD can be absolutely terrifying. So, even if you make it back to the trailhead without incident, your mental game will never be 100%. Better to clear your mind and take care of business before you hit the trails. So, to review, the PRD saves weight, makes you feel less bloated, prepares you mentally, and adds a degree of predictability to your ride. To top it off, it's totally free. On a cost-benefit basis, a PRD is high yield. I'm sold. So this raises an obvious question, how do you time it? Luckily we have Google. Phrase it any way you like and you'll get crazy amounts of advice from riders, runners, climbers, and even surfers. No sport is left out of this and the concerns are the same across the board. There are no shortage of proven strategies to fit your lifestyle. To go the all natural route, wake up early and get moving. Walk around your block or climb some stairs. You should also stay well hydrated both the night before and the morning of your ride. Eating foods high in fiber is an almost obvious measure you can take as well. As for me, so much as looking at a cup of espresso is enough to get things moving. Coffee drinkers already know this, but you don't need to get addicted to caffeine to take a PRD. If it's a long ride or an important ride, you'll wake up early and leave yourself time to PRD before the big race. So, I'm happy to say that we're almost done talking about this subject, but I know you guys are going to take a PRD all over the comment section. If you have any tips or tricks, I guess let me know in as little detail as possible. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.